So the title here is, What Do I Do When I Know My Marriage Is Over? And first, I'm going to challenge you. And then later on, I'm going to give you the actual answer, okay? So my first challenge is based upon my experience. I used to be a divorce mediator, and I'm telling you right now, this was over 22 years ago. It was in San Diego, so it was a very sophisticated market. And I could tell you in retrospect, after I learned about marriage, which I think you know the story I did after a couple asked me to help them save their marriage, all of the previous divorces that I helped should not have been divorces. People don't understand about marriage in this world. I later spoke at Second Saturday, which is a divorce support group for women and also for men, but primarily for women. And I could tell you right now, most marriages, I don't know the percentage, but most marriages should not end in divorce, even though they're being told by a therapist or by someone that it should. There are cases when a marriage is over, like if you're a man and your wife is with someone else, whether she's already left the house or not, your marriage is over. But in most cases, the marriage is not over and it's not even like in that movie the princess bride where he says well you're nearly dead no it's a lack of understanding of marriage and therefore how to save a marriage that is the problem that we have in our world right now we at the marriage foundation save thousands of marriages using our courses and they work and it is, i'm not trying to sell you that i'm trying to tell you your marriage probably isn't over so if it is over though, what should you do? And this is a good question because, well, where do I go from here? And it really depends on whether you're a man or a woman, whether you have children or don't have children. Number one, you need to learn to accept that life brings us challenges for a purpose. The purpose is for us to grow. We are not supposed to react. We're not supposed to get mad. We're not supposed to get steeped in sorrow. We're not supposed to mourn. You know, the big thing these days is, oh, you need time to mourn. No, you don't. Yes, things take time for you to get over because that's a human nature. I lost a son, so I know about that. But I never took the time to mourn. And certainly for a relationship, even as big a relationship as is marriage, we don't take time to mourn. What we do is we take time to learn how to become better people. We learn how to still retain joy, even in the most terrible conditions. You are, because you're a soul, this is not a religious discussion, I always say that, because you're a soul, you're innately a spiritual divine creation. You are joy itself. You are love itself. And we need to do everything we can to identify with our essence, you see. That is evolution. Everyone talks about evolution as becoming more sophisticated. It's a big thing in the world. I work with a lot of movie stars and directors and screenwriters in Hollywood. They talk about, oh, he's really evolved. She's really evolved. No, just because you're sophisticated and you know a lot about this or that doesn't make you evolve. What it makes you evolve is becoming saintly. Really, this again, it's not religious, but they own it. The ones who have learned to love regardless. The one who learned to live unshaken midst the crash of breaking worlds, they own it. That's who we need to strive to become. And we can. Each one of us has that innate capability. And if your marriage is over, that's what you do. You don't right away go out, look for a replacement. And you don't take on blame. And you don't criticize your spouse for what they have done to end your marriage, no. You can only control one thing in this world, and that's yourself. So take advantage of the time you now have. See it as a gift from God, regardless of how it happened, why it happened, 
And no matter who's being affected, oftentimes our kids are being affected. Don't get into that. Instead, get into self-growth, self-improvement. That is what you should do if you know your marriage is over. I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. We're here to help people with their marriages. Thank you for visiting. Like this video. Subscribe to this channel. God bless you. Take care.